once was a time when any Tom, Dick, or Harry could battle a fire. It didn't take a lot of fancy training or equipment. It's a very different story in 1996. Modern firefighting includes an impressive arsenal of high-tech tools, air tanks and clothing to survive an inferno, a special bodysuit for cold water rescues, and the Bangor Fire Department is trying to raise money for a nifty little device called the Carnes Iris, an infrared vision system that allows firefighters to see through the thickest smoke. All right. But not even the most expensive equipment can replace training, and these people do a lot of it. The modern firefighter is highly educated. In fact, there's one person on the crew who even has a degree in microbiology. Channel 5 photographer Mike Hartford volunteered to get a close-up look at a recent training exercise. This is not in my contract. <laughs> we get them used to handling the lines. We get them used to attacking the fire. Uh, we go through the overhaul procedure. We go through the search and rescue procedure. It gives them a chance to actually feel the real heat that they're going to they're gonna, uh, go into. I think the new regulations are, are good. Uh, firefighter deaths have dropped in the country, and that's good. Uh, firefighters are more educated now than they ever were. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether you're a volunteer or a full-time firefighter. Dead is dead. If you don't have the proper training, dead is dead. Good evening, Bangor Fire Department. The high Hi. standards also affect the dispatchers. Just ask Wendy Finley. She remembers the night she helped deliver a premature baby over the telephone. The baby wasn't breathing after coming into the world two months early, but thanks to Wendy and the child's parents, young Dakota is now three years old. Uh, I just kind of sat back in my chair and just went, phew. Fire officials say it's important everyone has their own fire training. Is your family ready for the worse? We'll talk about the anatomy of a fire tomorrow night. Craig Colson, Channel 5 News, Bangor. Thank you.